Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Belle. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how your social security check will be increasing in 2023. Who will be getting it? When will you be getting it? And possibly how much you'll be getting. If you're new here and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel below and give this video a big thumbs up for me to let YouTube know that obviously you like what it is that I'm doing here. So social security benefits will increase 8.7% next year their largest bump in more than 40 years. That means roughly $145 more a month on average for seniors, according to the nonprofit AARP. The annual cost of living adjustments, COLA, is determined by year over year changes in inflation in the third quarter of the year. In this case, between July through September of 2021, and July through September of 2022. Social Security provides nearly all of income for nearly a quarter of retirees. The guaranteed benefits provided by Social Security, including the annual COLA, are more crucial than ever as high inflation remains a problem for older Americans. When will the 2023 increase show up in the Social Security checks? The COLA goes into effect with December 2022 benefits, which appears in the checks sent out in January 2023. Social Security payments are made on Wednesdays following a rollout schedule based on the beneficiary's birth date. So if you were born from the 1st through the 10th of the month, your benefits are paid on the second Wednesday of the month, so, or January 11th, 2023. If your birthday falls between the 11th and the 20th of the month, your checks are paid on the third Wednesday and you'll receive your first COLA increase on January 18th. These born between the 21st and the end of the month receive benefits on the fourth Wednesday, which will start January 25th, 2023. When will I know what my social security benefits are for 2023? Beneficiaries should receive letters through the month of December detailing their new benefit rate for the new year. If you missed this letter, you can always go on. You can still verify your increase online via the Social Security website. How does this year COLAs compare to the previous increases? Since 1975, Social Security benefits have been adjusted automatically every year based on increases in the cost of living. Previously, lawmakers would have to vote for increases, meaning years could go by before retirees saw a bump in their checks. The 8.7% increase announced for 2023 is the largest since 1981, when it was 11.2. The biggest increase ever was 14.3% was in 1980, when the U.S. was in the middle of a deep recession. In fact, the highest COLA were all in the late 1970s and early 1980s. In 2009, 2010, and 2015, there were no COLA due to the flatlining inflation during and after the Great Recession of 08. If you have any questions on what it is that I'm talking about, please be sure to leave your comments or concerns down below where um, I will answer them. Is the 2023 COLA enough to help seniors make ends meet? While the 8.7% increase does reflect a 41 year high, the 2022 COLA was 5.9% in which I discussed in previous videos. I can link it up, but I don't know why you would want to see that. <laughs> it's old. But anywho, the 2022, the 2022 COLA was 5.9%. And the inflation peaked at 9.1% in June. The 5.9% COLA received this year has fallen short on average by 50%. Without COLA, to adequately keep pace with inflation, Social Security benefits will have less buying power over time and can create a lot of hardship for those who receive it, especially amongst older Americans who are living longer lives and retirement. Some experts claim that the consumer price index for urban wage earners, clerical workers, or CPIW, which is used to calculate the annual COLA, isn't as accurate as it should be to meet the needs of seniors during this very tough economic hardship. A bill sponsored by Rep. John Lawson, a Democrat of Connecticut, would change how the COLA is calculated, linking it to the consumer price index for the elderly, which put a greater emphasis 
on the cost of food, housing, medical care, and other goods and services that impact Americans and more. Larson's bill would also set a new minimum benefits of 25% above the poverty line, eliminating the current five-month waiting period to receive payments and provide caregivers credits to people who leave the workforce to care for children or other dependents. All right, guys, that's all I have for you all in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below for me. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up for me. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.